At this party here, there are maybe 40 of the most important people in America, and you have just walked all around all evening telling them all that I'm going to get fired. No, it was implied lightly as a little part of a tactical kind of joke. Will you explain to me uh, the joke? Because oh I don't get the oh. fucking joke. I don't get the joke. It was something that he said that isn't true that we needed to say. But you stood by his side and he said it and you were like, okay, well, that sounds good to me. Fuck sake, I'm not doing this right now. Now, I am in serious trouble. That was a play. You will be okay because you are a tough fucking bitch who will always survive because you do what you need. You will do, you what, you will do okay? whatever you need. Yeah? yeah. Really? You sure you're not projecting? Because that is actually you. Should we have a real conversation? With a scorpion? That was no. a friendly thing. Oh, yeah, a friendly sure. Thing. You're real friendly. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm a scorpion. You're a hyena. You're a, you're a street rat. Actually, no, you're a fucking snake. Here's a dead snake to wear as a necktie, Tom. Why aren't you laughing? I wonder if we shouldn't clear the air. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sure. I think that you can be a very selfish person, and I think you find it very hard to think about me. What? And fuck? I think you shouldn't have even married me, actually. What the fuck? Yeah. What the actual fuck? You proposed to me? Proposed to me my lowest fucking ebb. My dad was dying. What was I supposed to say? Perhaps no. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. Yeah, you really kept me safe while you ran off to fuck the phone book. Oh, fuck off. You're a hick. And then I'm conservative. And then hick. you hit it because you were so scared of how fucking awful you are. You were only with me to get to power. Well, you got it now, Tom. You've got it. I'm with you because I love you. Bullshit. You're fucking me for my DNA. You are fucking me for a fucking ladder because your whole family is striving and parochial. That's not, that's not a fair characterization. Oh, not... no? Well, your mom loves me more than she loves you because she's cracked. You wanna, you wanna actually clear the air? Fine. You betrayed me. You were going to see me get sent to fucking prison, Shiv. And then you fogged me off with that fucking undrinkable wine and you won't have my baby because you never even thought, honestly, you'd be with me more than like four fucking years, you I You offered think. to go to jail, Tom. You offered because you're servile. You're just, you're servile. You are incapable of thinking about anybody other than yourself because your sense of who you are, Shiv, is that fucking oh, thing. Oh, yeah, you read that yeah. in a book, Tom? You're too fucking transparent to find in a book. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're a masochist and you can't even take it. I think you are incapable of love. And I think you are maybe not a good person to have children. Well, that's not very nice to say, is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you, you, you have hurt me more than you can possibly imagine. You? You took away the last six months I could have had with my dad. No. Yes. No. Yes. You sucked up to him and you cut me out. It's not my fault that you didn't get his approval. I have given you endless approval and it doesn't fill you up because you're broken. I don't like you. I don't, I don't even care about you. I don't care. Have we cleared the air, huh? Feel good now? Yep. Yeah. Fucking great. Uh -huh. Tip top. You don't deserve me. And you never did. And everything came out of that. <laughs>